Hey guys, welcome back to another sort of George with me, Julian. Do you ever get this? Even though this is full. Today we've got Sarah's 2006 Mercedes C-Class. Let's clear out the jets. First off, I've already undone two of them. You've got to undo a screw there. You've got a screw there. And also underneath, I've got to do the middle one. So let's take them out first. Right, they are a T20 Torx bit, them three screws, as you do. Once you take them out, just drop the bonnet and then it will lift out from the outside. Right, let's turn this over. Just turn it over and lay it down on the uh, bonnet. I've just put obviously a blanket down, saved me paintwork, although you wouldn't believe it looking at the dirt, but never mind. Um, okay, right, these are held in place. You've got a connection on it. I'm not sure if they're heated or what they are, but what you want to do is just get a real thin screwdriver, place it in there, unhook, and then that connector will come off. Obviously, I need two hands, but uh, oh no, hang on, did I get it? Yes, I did. Good. Right, there's your connector come off. Next, what you want to do is just unhook that from in there. That's your, obviously, the water reservoir going in. So that will come out. There you go. That's out. Right, what we'll do is do both of them. Right, now that they're out, what I want to do is see whether or not the water uh, comes out of here as well as here. Because if it comes out of there, <clears throat> then I know that the pipe's okay. If it doesn't come out of there, then I know I've got a blockage rather than it being the, uh, the jets. Right, let's give that a go. I've just removed the uh, pipe from the housing. I've got the housing over on the desk. Just a little top tip for you. As you can see, the uh, the bonnet is open. You have to, as you can see the little tail for the hook there, you have to close that right down. Otherwise, the wipers won't work and the jets won't work. It's something to do with, obviously, like the way that it clips in. It's a safety thing because if the bonnet is open, it stops the... Uh, wipers from possibly hitting this back edge of the wipe uh, of the of the bonnet so you've got to shut the bonnet before your wipers and your washers work so right let's crack on let's give that a go well that was certainly strong enough that came out of both ends well pleased about that at least i know i've got no blockage in the hose so that's good so now our attention needs to be drawn to these two things here which are probably blocked up with a little bit of muck uh right let's take them out of the housing and see how we get on the way that these come out of the housing if you can see i've got my thin screwdriver again if you look on both sides here let me move the camera over a little bit what you've got to do is hook that inwards Oh, I've just broke that, never mind. And that one inwards. And they will come up like so. There you go. And she will come out. A little bit of wiggling. Sorry, I need two hands, I think. Bear with me. Yeah, just wanted a little bit of wiggling. And she's come out. Job done. Right, same again on this side. I've already unhooked it. And it just wants... A good wiggle there you go job job right put them both together they're not sided oh, hang on yes they are they are sided because of the way that the uh, connection goes how about that so they are sided right let's uh, let's give this a clean out and see how we get on job job right first things first I'm gonna see if I can give this a blowout with uh, Air compressor, airline, very fine hole, I know, but we'll see if anything comes out, if it will work. Oh, 
Little rubbish come out there. Right, let's give this one a go. See if I can go down this way first. Right, try again on this one. Oh. Full of rubbish. Right, that's the rubbish that came out on the first one, <clears throat> and that's the rubbish that came out on the second one. And I think it's the second one was the one that was blocked properly. So let's give that a go, shall us? Before I do that, I've just been having a quick mess about with this, and you can pull these connectors off and turn them around the other way. So they're not actually sided. What you do here, you just move that arm to the side, that middle arm goes over to one side, and it will slide off of that. And if you look, it's the same on both sides, so they're not actually sided, so that's good. So it doesn't matter which one you get. So that's Andy Harry, and that just slides back on, clips into place. Right, let's go and try them, shall we? As you do, sort with George. That's definitely one side. Can't see the other side. This one doesn't quite seem to be as strong. I think what I'll do is give that another blowout. But this one was great, so that's good. So I'll just mess about with this one uh, just to see if I can get a bit more um, muck out of it uh, and see how we get on. Uh, what you can do, obviously, as well, I was just thinking about this before. If you haven't got something like an airline, what you could do is take this connection off of the housing and then just submerge it into some sort of cleaning solution uh, so that you're not messing up this connector on here because this one where the wires go in they're like covered in rubber so i wouldn't be worried too much about them myself um but at least you haven't got to get water down in that connector when you submerge this just an idea right i'll keep messing about with this then i'll put it back together and i'll come back right i've taken it all apart again what we've got going on here up on this end up on this uh, top end here i've got a pin i've just bent it as you do, just so that I can get this hook part of the pin into this area here. Because I think that is the problem with what's going on. I think it's still a bit on the dirty side inside. Uh, hence why we haven't got the clear path for the water to shoot out and uh, why it's not as good. So... Right, it's all back together again now. That pin did help clear out a little bit more um, dirt and grime and rubbish in there. So, right, let's see what she's like this time. we got that lot cleared out I mean she's a 2006 2007 uh, Mercedes C-Class so I mean the jets are like 15 years old so there's about 15 years worth of grime up there um, yeah just gave it another little clean out with the pins um, and yeah I ran the engine so there's a little bit more strength in the, uh, the jet washer motor as well um, that's fine I'm happy with that that saves what £45, I think it is, off of eBay for a pair. Mercedes, I think they're about sort of £60, £70. And what are they? They're just jets, you know. Yes, they've got the, um, by the looks of it, they're heated for the winter. Um, but not that that's any good around here anyway, because, I mean, in the winter, if, you're, if, you, if your windscreen's frozen up, when you put your, your washers on and that lot and put the water on to the screen... It's going to freeze over anyway, so it's not, not no point. Um, hopefully, that's helped you out. Like I say, if it saves you 50 quid, why not? 
Thanks ever so much for watching, I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe if you wouldn't mind, and I'll see you on the next one. Sort of, George.